This is the Sligger CX4170A, a short depth 4U rack mounted PC and server case that supports SSI EEB, SSI CEB, EATX, and below form factors, and has support for up to a 360mm AIO. Let's take a look. Hey PC builders, this video is an exciting one. On the channel, we talk a lot about building PCs and shopping on eBay for pre-built servers all the time, but this, this is the first server case we've ever reviewed. That's right. This case is going to be part of a big server build video we'll be doing very soon with 2GT Brandon, and we wanted to review this case by itself first. So buckle up and let's get started. Made in the USA, the CX4170A measures in at 429 millimeters deep, by 432 millimeters wide, by 176.75 millimeters high. This is a four rack unit or 4U rack mounted case that's designed to be mounted into a 19 inch server cabinet. The case is made of galvanized steel with the exterior powder coated black. Up front, we have the massive hexagonal air intake designed for three 120 millimeter fans. On the right side of the front of the case is a simple power button, two USB 3.0 ports, and a single USB-C port. The steel faceplate easily detaches to provide access to install the three 120mm fans. Since this is a rack mounted case, all sides are steel blanks, with the left and right sides having mounting holes for sliding rack rails which Sligger sells at an additional cost. Around the back, on the left side we see the opening for the PSU, the cutout for the IO shield and port cluster, and eight IO slots that are standard with the SSI EEB form factor. We've mentioned it a few times here, but what is SSI EEB and how does it differ from ATX that most of us are familiar with? The Enterprise Electronics Bay Specification, or EEB, is a standard form factor for dual or multi-processor motherboards defined by the Server System Infrastructure, or SSI Forum. The specification is intended for value servers and workstations based on the Intel Xeon and AMD EPIC processors. SSI EEB motherboards have the same I.O. connector area and many of the same motherboard mounting holes as ATX motherboards. Although SSI EEB motherboards are larger in size than ATX motherboards and have different processor mounting holes. Since the Sligger CX4170A supports the SSI EEB form factor, it means that you can essentially install any ATX motherboard, from an EATX all the way down to an ITX board in this case, giving you a ton of flexibility in what you want to use it for. Let's open the top of this case up and see what's inside. Opening the CX4170A is done by removing two case screws on the top back edge of the case and sliding the case lid back. Unlike a desktop or gaming PC case, the inside of the CX4170A is pretty bare by design. Airflow is the primary focus of any server build and you'll find very few obstructions to impact the front to back airflow of this case. Let's dig into the inside dimensions. The CX4170A supports up to three 120mm fans for cooling and will also support up to a 360mm radiator as well. The case supports a maximum CPU cooler height of 158mm. The maximum GPU length is 375mm with a maximum card height of 158mm. If you plan to mount an AIO, just keep in mind that your maximum card length will be reduced by the installed radiator. Lastly, the maximum PSU length is 160mm with the drive cage installed or up to 270mm with the cage removed. Speaking of disc mounting options, the CX4170A has a removable internal disc mounting bay that supports either three 3.5 inch hard disks, eight 2.5 inch SSDs, or a combination of either. Other than this, there are no additional disc mounting options in this case. If you're looking for greater disc mounting options, Sligger has other cases that support more discs with hot swapping. The Sligger CX4170A is available now for $240 without sliding rails, which can be had for an extra $40. Alright, let's build into this case. For this review, we'll be using consumer class hardware, and as previously mentioned in a future video, we'll be using this case to build out a proper server with enterprise grade hardware soon. So, for this build, we'll be using an MSI MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, an AMD Ryzen 5800X CPU topped with Deepcool's 8K620 cooler, Antex Katana RGB RAM, an XFX 5700 XT Fit card, and an Antec NE850 Platinum Fully Modular PSU. Building into this case was fast and easy with ample room to get around and place the board, GPU, and PSU. And that's what you'd expect from a case that's essentially a wide open box. 
We enjoyed the build process and it reminded us of the days of desktop form factor PCs that were big, open, and full of space. If you're looking to build a rack-mounted system, this case will do you well. What's left to say about the CX4170A? It's a stylish server rack case with few frills, but that's not a bad thing. We really like the flexibility of the chassis, having the option to install basically any motherboard from a server board all the way down to a mini ITX, the option for AIO water cooling, and the fact that Slicker provides USB-C standard is awesome. There are downsides, of course. The storage options are limited, so depending on what purpose you're building the server for, this case might not be for you. There's also a bit of flex in this case when picking it up and moving it around. Not enough to negatively affect the hardware you'd install inside, but enough that we noticed it. All in all, it's a great case. Now that you've finished this video, check out our playlist over here. We put all of our server and home lab build videos. If you're interested in home lab, this is a great place to start.